Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Eternal AC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 4, Algorithmic Strategy, Content of the Session, Efficiency of Algorithm, Asymptotic Notations, Best, Worst and Average Case Efficiency. So, we are going to deal with Efficiency of Algorithm. What is an algorithm? Algorithm is a step-by-step -step process to do a task. Then we learnt the characteristics of algorithm. Now we are going to learn the efficiency of algorithm. Efficiency of an algorithm can be measured based on the usage of different resources. That means efficient of the algorithm. How far the algorithm is efficient to do the task? Because a problem can have any number of algorithms based upon the idea of a developer. So, we have to decide among the set of algorithms which is very suitable for the particular solution. How to decide the efficiency? How to select the algorithm? There are some strategies to follow. For maximum efficiency of algorithm, we wish to minimize resource usage. If algorithm can give a solution with a less number of usage of resource, then we will say that that type of algorithm is the efficient algorithm. So time and space complexity could be considered for an algorithmic efficiency. As we know, time and the space are the two factors implementing the efficiency. So method for determining efficiency. Efficiency of an algorithm depends on how efficiently it uses time and memory space. So, for example, write a program for a defined algorithm, execute it by using any programming language and measure the total time it takes to run. The execution time that you measure in this case would depend on a number of factors. So, how I have to calculate the time required for an algorithm to execute a procedure. Speed, it depends. The time requirement depends on the speed of the machine, compiler and other system software tools, operating system used, programming language, volume of data required. So based on these factors only, we have to calculate the time requirement for the algorithm. Then, however, to determine how efficiently an algorithm solves a given problem, you would like to determine how the execution time is affected by the nature of the algorithm. This is very important because that type of algorithm will take more time. This type of algorithm will take less time. It depends upon the methodology, how the algorithm is defined. Therefore, we need to develop fundamental laws that determine the efficiency of a program in terms of nature of the underlying algorithm. So, we are going to define some basic law that means how to define the algorithm's efficiency. What are they? Here we must know one thing. What is the space-time trade-off? Space and time are the time memory trade-off is a way of solving in less time by using more storage. That means algorithm will use less time, but its storage may be more. Sometimes, so solving a given algorithm in very little space, but it takes more time. So, the efficiency or the algorithm nature may be of any two of the kind. What is that? Sometimes it takes less time but more space. Sometimes it will execute in uh, uh, execute in a long time, but the space required is very less. So I have to decide which would be suitable for me or the person who require that algorithm. To solve a given programming problem, many different algorithms may be used. Some of these algorithms may be extremely time efficient and others extremely space efficient. So, 
time space trade off refers to a situation where you can reduce the use of memory at the cost of lower program execution or reduce the running time at the cost of increased memory usage it depends upon the need of the developer or the person who needs the algorithm so the best algorithm is to solve a given problem in less time with less memory but sometimes it won't happen so we have to decide based on that this is the best algorithm which is the best algorithm or the efficient algorithm means which is using less memory space with the less time of execution then the way of designing the algorithm is called algorithmic strategy so now we are going to learn the law fundamental laws that is which is said to be a best case or which is the worst case or which is the average case of efficiency of an algorithm so f of n what is f of n n is the size of the input and f defines running time or the storage space required by the algorithm so in the worst case maximum number of steps is taken by the algorithm or maximum time required for the program execution but in the best case the minimum number of steps is taken or the minimum time requirement for the program average case is defined by the average number of steps taken on the instance of size n or the average time required for a program execution so a algorithm if uses the um, maximum time and it is said to be worst case if uses minimum time it will be called as best case if uses the average time it will be called as average case efficient algorithm we must know some astomo as asymptotic notations what are they some notations given for the cases big o it measures the worst case time complexity or the longest amount of time an algorithm can possibly take to complete it is represented as big o next one is omega omega it measures or uh, it express the best case time complexity or the best amount of time an algorithm can possibly take to complete the theta represents the average when algorithm has a complexity with lower bound equal to upper bound say that an algorithm has a complexity o n big o o n log of n and omega n log of n this is for worst case and this is for best case it actually has the complexity theta n log of n which means the running time of algorithm always falls in n log of n in the best case and also in the worst case it's the notations or the um, symbols given to represent it it's not elaborated in your syllabus it's simply given which means theta which means omega which means big o let's see with an example what represents best and worst or average case suppose if you want to search fortify the element in the list there is a list 45 67 84 39 72 52 the algorithm that search the key element in the list among n elements by comparing the key element with each element in a list sequentially here the algorithm is going to check the element one by one the target to search the uh, target element is 45 so the algorithm is going to search the element one by one consider like that if it is so as the first element itself is 45 this is said to be best case because first element in the list matches with the key element to be searched in a list of elements so the efficiency in that case would be expressed as o of 1 because only one comparison is enough 
Is it clear children? That is set of elements. We are having a we are having set of elements in that element I want to search for a particular element that is 45. Surprisingly the 45 is in the first place if it is so the searching takes place with only one comparison because first element if I compare it will say yes the element is found. So this is said to be best case because the search is limited. Suppose if the requirement is to search the element 52 then it has to start from 1 to the last because this number is found at the last place. Similarly, the worst case in this scenario would be if the complete list is searched and the element is found only at the end or not found, found in the list. The efficiency of an algorithm in that case would be expressed as O of n because it is found at the nth place because n comparisons require to complete the search. Now the search will take number of steps more. So it is worst case. Average case efficiency of an algorithm can be obtained by finding the average number of comparison as given below. Minimum number of comparison equal to 1, maximum number of comparison equal to n. If the element not found, then maximum number of comparison equal to n. Therefore, average number of comparisons equal to n plus 1 by 2. Since the average case efficiency will be expressed as of n. So minimum is 1, maximum is n. So average is last and the uh, lowest and the highest plus by 2 because of 2 element. Is it clear children? So a recap. Efficiency of an algorithm depends on how efficiently it uses time and memory space. And we have learnt 3 cases. Best case, the longest amount of time. Best case, minimum amount of time. Average, it will be in an average timing. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos. Thank you. Have a good day.